With the 2020 Raw effectively being cancelled due to the COVID lockdown in New Zealand, we were really excited that it was finally 2021 and the stags were starting to roar. Hopefully they'd be a bit bigger, a bit older, and we'd be able to track down ourselves a good one. So we headed off on our journey down south to see what we could find. We've started our journey yesterday, but we didn't film because we just got at the start location at like 6 o'clock, so we just walked as far as we could. Um, now it's the second morning and loaded up our water, our smoothies and we're heading up to try and get onto the tops right on earth, right on first light so we'll let the lead lenses light the way and get moving how it's down the frame yeah am i right we're in the real deal now that's no this is horrible this is an hour two hours of hell no, I was sitting there. After breaking out into the tops, having a bit of a breather and a drink, it wasn't long before we managed to spot our first animals. These are the two hides. Okay. Although it was awesome to see a stag roaring, he wasn't where we were going and he wasn't really what we were after. So we decided to keep pushing on and see what we could find over the hill. It was a great feeling to be up on top of the mountains with your brothers, looking for stags. Unfortunately, in spite of our best efforts, the first evening didn't pan out how we wanted to, and the best we could find was this young stag down in the valley that we decided to pass up. After watching him for a while, we headed back down to make our camp. at our camp after that awesome hunt today. Um, cruised back up through the up to the tops and then got a good sweat on and broke down. Got to our packs and came down to this camp and set up. Boys is there. I'm running the skinny sow. Quite a nice setup. Bit, bit of a messy camp. But. You see why we call the tent the skinny sow. It's got the skinny sow tent. The backbone. <laughs> of a skinny sow. But there's a little bit of a breeze, um, but we've got the Domexes, so hopefully they keep us warm. I haven't used mine until today. Well, last night I used it, but until this trip, so I'm quite excited to see how it goes on a bit of a cooler temperature. It's still pretty warm though. Into a backcountry, is it? Flavour. Going running a beef stroganoff tonight. I'm quite hungry. Yeah. Nothing tastes as good as it does on the bush after a big day on the mm. mahi. No. By mahi I mean hunting. Got up 
to the ridge from camp. It took quite a, quite a bit longer than we remembered, but got there, so thought I just heard deer roar. Yeah, Must be on that side, eh? Mm. Certainly he's not going to wind us. Nah, there's no, it? a real big wind coming this way, yeah, so roar. yeah, we're it's probably going to hunt this side first. I think the wind's meant to drop off, and then we might be able to head along the ridge and hunt the other side of the ridge when the wind starts coming up. That's what we're hoping anyway, so we'll see how we get on. Wind should die later. If we heard that roar, it's not far off. Yeah. This wind. It could be just below us. Should hear it from up here anyway. I think it would just be just over this hill if it's really yeah. hard. After cresting the ridge, it was clear to see we weren't going to be able to spot this stag. The wind was way too strong, so we made a call to head around out of the wind to the other side of the valley. up and have a look to some new country. Heard a roar down there, so things are looking promising. Beautiful day on this side out Yeah, there. it's nice. The sun just come up. That's why the big stags like to live here, hopefully. Mm. It's a bit more feed over here. We could see a huge area from where we decided to sit down, and we glassed for a few hours trying to cover it all. Slowly we started to pick up animals here and there. So it was just hopefully a matter of time of sitting down and waiting for the big stag to show himself. Eventually we managed to spot this nice animal off in the distance. It was hard to tell exactly how big he was because he was over a kilometre away. He looked like a mature sort of animal, but the way the wind was, there was no way of getting anywhere near him, so we just had to watch him. It was cool to see a nice mature animal even if he was too far away, but we kept looking in some other spots and it wasn't too long before we spotted another stag. This time, he was a bit closer. There were two or three stags roaring down below us in the bottom of the valley. So we held tight and kept searching to see if there was any other better animals than this one. We kept glassing all through the valley for another hour, and I managed to spot this big old stag right down the bottom. He was well over a k away, and the way that the country was, there was no way of getting to him this day. So unfortunately, we just had to watch him, even though he probably would have been a shooter if we could have gotten to him. He had great length, but he was pretty ugly, but I wouldn't have minded. So we watched him as he made his way back into the bush, and dreamt of what might happen if he had been a bit closer. Long, long as it. Just can't tell what points it's got. I don't think it's got many tops. So I wonder if you want to shoot it. So I think it's got one like good side and then one like real good side. Eventually he slipped off into the bush and we decided it was time to head further down into the valley to see if we could open up some more country to see into and spot one of these other stags that was roaring down there. 
there was heaps of sign on the ground, so we were hopeful, even though the wind wasn't ideal. We could hear plenty of roaring as we were making our way through the bush, and as we broke out onto a spur, we looked down towards the scree and Harry noticed a bit of movement in the bush. He was a nice looking young stag, but he wasn't big enough and old enough for us today. So we watched him and saw what would happen if we just left him to feed out into the open. It took him about 40 minutes, but eventually he made his way up to this scree just across from us, only about 150 metres. Good timber. Yeah, not shooting it, we watched him for another half hour, giving him a few roars to see what he would do. But the day was getting on, so we decided it was time to head back up over the ridge and back down to camp before it got dark. Lot of smoke. Here we go, Lord of the Flame. Oh, Lord I'm of the Flame. Feeling real high. It's dizzy. Bit, light, bit lightheaded. Mm. It's uh, the next day, and it's not so windy. Beautiful day. We got up on the tops before light, and we're just waiting. As you can hear a few roaring around us, and it's just about light enough to see them now. So, fingers crossed, we can locate a couple of them. And it's a big boy, but this is what we wanted, a nice day with not too much wind. This is our day, fingers crossed. This is what I love about the roar is just, um, for starters it's hunting and I love hunting, being out in the hills and it's just a way that you can get away from everyday life and um, just not worry about work or responsibilities or things like that. So. That's the, that's the big thing I love about hunting, but then you take in the roar, you've got the adrenaline, you've got the stags pretty much telling you where they are, and then you've got the challenge of going into these big mountains and just walking further and harder than you think you can, pushing yourself past the boundaries, and then when it all comes together and you see a good stag and you plan a good hunt and it, you manage to get him or see him and he's not the one you're after, it's just amazing feeling so yeah you look forward to it all year and whether you get one or not doesn't really matter it's just about getting away and soaking in the experience and when you get a good day when the weather's nice you can't beat it you cannot beat it
reason one there, so I'm going to head over and try to get a better look before they head off somewhere and bed down. They might be all bucked, so... There's no baby ones there, though. Yeah, there's some smaller ones. Young buck. Surely there's one good one if there's nine. There's one animal that looks a lot bigger than the others. This was a big family group of chamois, but that wasn't all that was over in this big valley. We could hear a couple of stags roaring on either side of this ridge, so we had to have a quick look at what was in here before deciding what we were going to do. Eventually, after I'd scanned all the animals with the camera, it was clear that there was nothing decent in there, so we made our way off to see if we could find the stags. We managed to locate one of the stags, but it wasn't the sort of thing we were after, so we've set our sights on finding the other stags. Although it was awesome to see so many stags, it was getting a little bit frustrating that we hadn't seen anything really good that we were able to go after. The day was getting on, but we decided to check one last spot before making our way back to camp. As soon as we crested the ridge, we could hear a stag going mental. He was only 300 metres away down in a small patch of bush, so we knew we had a chance. We split up, with Harry and I going down, and Noah staying back roaring.
The stag had no idea we were creeping in on him, with Noah keeping him occupied roaring up on the ridge. We snuck in and the suspense was intense. Harry found himself a perfect little rock to hide behind, so now it was just a case of sitting tight and hoping that the stag would make a mistake before we did. The Huntek High Country camo had Harry blending in perfectly, and the stag had no idea where we were, and eventually he made his way out into the open to see what we were. It's quite cool just to see him. Definitely could have shot him. Yeah, I think it was just like a middle aged like eight pointer. I've seen him had a real good look at it. It was pretty mature. Yeah, it wasn't that old. That was a bit disappointing but pretty cool at the same time. Yeah, we day. sat there for so long roaring him and finally he came in. Harry seen him first and didn't think it was any good. It wasn't very good. And then he asked if me if he should shoot it or not, and I was like, oh, I can't even see it either. No. And then I seen it in the camera, but I couldn't it tell. It was like a little eight-pointer, so I was like, uh, even if it was old, I couldn't really be bothered carrying it out from here. Yeah. He was reasonably young. Oh, well, that was awesome. It was so close, close range um, roaring. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, you don't normally get that here. Yeah, let's get out of here, though. Big walk. We're back. I saw it. It's like a little six or an eight. Like old, well, I've seen it. Middle age. Off, I like, just then. Middle age or something. Did he have shot it? Yeah. Was it in the bush? I couldn't see because I was just waiting, leaving Harry to watch, and then he spotted it and he was like, Do you want me to shoot it? And I was like, Yeah. But then I didn't, I just thought, like, I didn't know why he was asking. Like, yeah. And then he told me the little. It's quite a big animal, though. Yeah, at it's I, just from my little look on the camera, I thought it was like at least middle age. Yeah. Shit, <sighs> animals. Did you see it now? Just seen it walking through above the bush back there. Did it look big body or not? Decent body, yeah. yeah. Even looked like a head or right hand. Oh, it's just. It's like an eight pointer, I reckon. We were still a long way away from getting home, so we turned and started making our way back and checking a few spots out on the way.
The wind was far from ideal, but there was still a chance, seeing as we were up quite high. And looking down at this big scree, it was clear to see there'd been a lot of animals around. And then we heard a roar, so we kept our eyes peeled. Once again we'd managed to find ourselves a young to middle aged stag that we weren't wanting to shoot. We weren't too worried though because it had been an amazing day and this evening was settling in to be one of those magic ones on the tops that only someone that goes into the outdoors or hunts understands. We just enjoyed it, watched the stag for a while and then meandered our way back to camp enjoying the scenery. The next day we were back into it with another early start, hoping that today our luck would change from young stags to one good one. Um, it's the next day now. We got up early, looking into a gully, and there was nothing over that side. We popped back over, and we can hear some stags roaring way down the valley here, so we're going to make our way down. It's quite a nice day. No wind, so see what happens. I'm just going to do a roll down here. Some stag activity this morning, but it's gone a bit quiet to roar and see if anything pops out. Alright, we uh, dropped down quite low into this valley, down to some roaring, but didn't find any decent stag. Seen quite a few young ones, but so a bit disappointed. We've just got one heck of a climb now massive hill, can't even see the top of the cloud. That's halfway, probably doesn't look that far on the camera, but we're calling it the Goggins Hill. Goggins would be proud of us. David Goggins. Stay hard. Yeah. It's not over yet though. Could get one on the way back, but the weather's meant to close in a bit, yeah, I think. be dropping much further. You can see a bit of cloud coming over, eh? Yeah, Before I think it's going to be up in the mist tonight. In the oh, rain. Well. It's going to take us a few hours, so let's get going. Can take them all. It's sweating up a storm. It's not even that hot. After breaking up into the tops, it was all fogged in. So we decided there was no point doing much hunting that night and we headed back calling it in early, hoping that the last day was gonna be our good day. Well, I woke up this morning and it's raining, so we just had a bit of a sleep in, which I'm not terribly upset about, to be honest. We've done some massive days and, um, yeah, it's just good to rest up a little bit. Hopefully it clears soon and we can head pack up and head sort of back towards home, but also have a, have a bit of a hunt as well, see how we get on. Nice to have a good sleeping bag, good tent. In a good bed roll. Uh. Made our way up to the top of the ridge and we've spotted a little stag down here, but we can hear another one roaring, so we're gonna head down here and hopefully we'll spot it from a different angle. So we're just going to 
sit here and do a few roars and see what happens. Just wait it out for an hour or two and then if nothing shows up, go back to where our packs are. Set up camp. No. There were various roars coming from in the valley, so we knew it was just a case of sitting tight and eventually we'd see something. Whether it was going to be in range or not was another thing. We spotted the stag way across the valley and were watching him when we were rudely interrupted by a roar right below us. No! <laughs> That's good, just in front of it, just in front of it, to the right, just to the right of it. Yep, 
dropped it. Got it. Folded it. <laughs> oh. Like he had it told must you. Be a bit more wind yeah. than you thought because that was aimed to the left. Man, that was a good shot on second shot. <laughs> I just had to stop there. I just went aimed to the left and just bought a scat. I could have taken the shot. Might be going that way, oh, thank goodness yeah, that second shot. Is that a beauty of a stag? Like it's a nice real long. And old, is it yeah. 10 points or? Yes! It's got one day. <laughs> oh my god, that was so cool. The meanest footage. I was so scared that when you said I missed, I was like. Just like it went that way a bit, didn't it? Second yeah. shot aimed. Missed it by right. like that much, just in front Second of Second shot aimed right in the middle of it. Got it right in the shoulder. So be aware of that, because I think it is shooting to the right. I would have thought the wind was going that way. Must be going that way. Must be going. That's yeah. weird. Awesome. Maybe it's just that's a bad shot. I'm pretty sure that's the one we've been after. That is, that's the, well, it's definitely one we're after for this trip. Yeah. Yeah. Did you get the second shot over there? So good footage. So <laughs> bad that you missed that, eh? It's so scary when you missed that. Yeah. It was a yeah. good backup shot, though. Like, you just know yeah. <laughs> I can just like, do this. Like, I was watching, I told you where you missed. I don't think we've ever, like, you lose you lose them. Yes. That was like, we were just sitting there for ages and it went quiet and we are like, joking, it's coming in. <laughs> and then it just, the roar just got clearer, you could hear the like, at the start of it, eh? Yeah, it sounded so close. When you so it was like that's close by that first one. Somehow it came across the first screen and it's, yeah, it's, yeah. A ma it's massively long. So it's 40 fixed. inches for yeah. sure. It just right got holes. I'm so glad second you time. got it for second shot. It that's why so the eliminator is so good. You just probably didn't even push the button again though. Didn't have to. Didn't that was like what quick was its range? Oh, folded it, man. <laughs> what was it? Yeah. It was Good. only 316. So the video. So but the you bullet, can see that. The bullet moved about that much. Off you, off can, you can see that wind going yeah, away now. Yeah, get on camera. Yeah. Walking down to this deer now. Still buzzing, but shaking still like such a adrenaline filled hunt. It's just the only. Pointer, is he? Oh, he's got three on here. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Holy point. moly. Really old. I'm so glad that I corrected nicely for the second shot. <laughs> it's real we, old, eh? Look how lots things are. I, yeah. I think, I'm pretty sure that's the one we've seen. Maybe. Yeah, because we've got bays though. Oh, it's got bays on both sides. It's got mean yeah. bay on this side. Not the, the other side's a little bit weaker, eh? Right? That's 40 inch too. Tricky. Close that to it. Close. It's got the same shape as him too. He yeah. had this like. I think it might just be going backwards a bit. But then why has it got this? Mm. Yeah. Might not be the same it's one. Different one, I reckon. It's got some age. Look how look at its um, coronets. That's a big animal, eh? Mm. Big head on it. Not big animal though. It's not that big of an animal. Big mm. head on yeah, it. Yeah, like it's real. It's just a smaller deer than. Pretty cool. That is a corker. Holy cow. Far out. If it had like real nice top timber is and thick a bit of bay. Look at it up here. Yeah. 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 Even here it's the thick as timber. Just never throwing anything up it's here. Cool any good. Take a photo. Eh? Pretty happy with that Sam, my team. Pretty happy Next. with this. Yeah. <laughs> Good stags while we're after, eh? Yeah, this is this is what I've been like dreaming of for the last well two years because I didn't get to go on the raw because of lockdown last year. Yeah, he's just got real nice heavy timber, strong tines. Missing a top. The only mm. thing that's stopping him being a twelve. Mm. Nice Can't be so good when a hunt comes together. Yeah. It's close to not being any good, but I'm clean this day. <laughs> where do you hit it? I think it's just a bit windier here than we thought, so just must have been blowing. Because when I adjusted, wasn't perfectly when I adjusted, I just sacked him. When so. you shot at it either, I it wasn't perfectly yeah, sideways. Yeah. Was it like a little bit quarter? I wasn't sure if it, what it would do from there. Because how it is, we're up on the hill here, and there's a bit of a dip, and we wouldn't have been able to see it until it was like right on us after this. Beauty, drop team. Let's get into it so we can get back and set up camp. Get yeah. some photos. Get some photos. Right. Well, the rain's starting to mist up and settle in. Had a big photo shoot with this one. <laughs> Time to get the victory knife out and cut him up, cut the head off, He's cut some meat off. Rubbish bag there, isn't it? I'm yeah. gonna eat like king, so the rest of the trip. 
if you like, like rutting stag. <laughs> sweet like it, it's sweet it away in a rubbish bag. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Beggars can't be it choosers. still tastes nice. Beggars can't be choosers. Hungry. Oh, that's not sharp. That's really nice. Take your finger off. Is it sharp? Where'd you hit him? Uh, right where I was aiming. Oh, right where I was. That way, yeah. It's right there, that way. So lucky. Are you going to carry the whole back legs or bone them out? Like you can the whole thing on your shoulder, shoulder <laughs> up that hill. <laughs> like a pig. All just bone made out. Be easier to bone it out. Back legs. You no, shot bigger shoulders, so. I'm going to carry bone up there, actually. Try and keep it off the bag. That's not going to last very long. It's pretty light like this, though. A lot less lighter than a head skin. Grab that meat. Oh, yeah, this. don't forget the meat. <laughs> we'll get it. Oh, the weather's packed in now, so I think we're gonna pack up tent and head head out, make our way out. Been a great trip, good times with the brothers up on the hills and heaps of action, heaps of roaring, plenty of animals seen, and stoked to stoked with how it all played out, basically. So we'll head home happy until this time next year. We'll be back in and hopefully have another good year. <laughs>